Rolling. Rolling. Okay, um, hi. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's now on. I didn't know, I didn't realize that I was in the plane. Because what we normally observe before you, you travel or when we are watching the television, you normally see people walking up the ladder, you know, up the stairs as they get in the plane. But myself, I just found myself in that, like, a kind of like a room, a very beautiful room. And then I realized that it was a plane when it started moving, you know, when it was moving. That's when I, oh, this is, that I could not uh, I talk to someone who was uh, sitting next to me because I felt like it is an embarrassment if I mentioned that to people. <laughs> so, but anyway, I enjoyed every bit of it. And then when uh, we were in Dubai, we also, I met quite many people, people from uh, different parts of the world. The top finalists, like the top 50, the, the top 10, uh, you see meeting and interacting with them and they are able to share with you how they teach, where they come from, or the challenges that they go through and what they do in order to assist the students go through those challenges. So winning the Global Teacher Prize was a great moment for me. And when my name was announced, I felt like uh, I could not believe it. I was caught by surprise. It was like to me it was uh, a shock. I felt quite happy. I felt like it was a great honor, great privilege, and uh, it was a great moment, I can say. Oh, wow, this is the moment I landed in Kenya, and uh, I felt like I'm packed to my country, I'm packed to Africa continent, that has made me have this wonderful achievement. And uh, I felt like, let me kiss the ground, you know, Kissing the ground, I feel like it's a way of showing my patriotism, being patriotic to my continent. The students from my school were carrying me high up on their shoulders. I was so scared that they might uh, uh, drop me, I might fall down, but uh, that did not happen. They were very energetic, even if they were young. I think they were full of energy and happy, you see they were, they were full of joy. I was also tired, very tired because I'd traveled for more than um, uh, five hours. But now when I saw their joy and their um, uh, warm reception and all of that, I felt like, I felt loved and, 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 and I was also uh, uh, in their mood, okay, I trained them to also sing and be in their joyful mood. And then later on, I also got an invitation to go to the State House in Kenya. Uh, after some time, we were invited to um, a special room, a nice room where uh, the president, our president, was waiting for us. So in that room, we met, we met him and then we had some few, few moments of sharing and chatting and I got a chance, I got an opportunity to talk to him, chat with him and uh, he was so happy, he listened to me carefully and uh, I can say that he felt like winning the Global, Teachers, uh, the Global Teacher Prize has made the country proud and he congratulated me and uh, appreciated everything that really took place. So in the State House in Kenya, I was also accompanied by my family, so my family was also given a chance to go to there. So they, they, they got, you know, something they never imagined in, in life. So they were given an opportunity to also to go to, to State House. And then later on, uh, winning the Global Teacher Prize has given me so many privileges. I can say that it has opened uh, some doors for me. Many things have happened, and one of the things that has happened is uh, I've been appointed as the champion of, of Education Cannot Wait. That is meant for really supporting children in uh, crisis and conflict areas. So I'm so, I feel humbled. It's a great privilege for me, and I look forward um, so much willing to work with them. 
because every child deserves decent education. Every child deserves a great teacher. And uh, even those children in those areas, in, uh, in conflict and crisis areas, they also deserve uh, a great teacher. And I feel like it is a great moment for me to be able to uh, give my contribution by championing, uh, being their champion. Now, this photo reminds me of um, the moment when I was in USA reciting uh, the Franciscan prayer, opening the US Congress. I could also not uh, believe that, uh, that a teacher can be invited to participate in such a function, you know, opening. And I chose to open it in, in style, you know, in a, a prayer because I am a Franciscan um, brother. Now, this one reminds me of um, the, the science challenge. And I feel there's more that needs to be done um, about STEM, you know, supporting science and technology. And it happened that I was in the US and there was an invitation to visit some of the tech companies in, in Silicon Valley. So they had an, an opportunity to really experience uh, a technology uh, based on the virtual reality, whereby you just wear a mask and then you are given some uh, kind of devices and then you follow the instructions. And then you are able to see some kind of imaginary images in front of you, you know, like some kind of balls moving and then you can even like touch them with your hands, you know, there's a kind of an imaginary kind of gloves that pops in. So I was so fascinated to see all of that. So this photo reminds me of a time when I was at the UN in front of uh, ministers, presidents, um, uh, senior readers from different organizations and institutions. And um, just in the middle, I'm there, a teacher. <laughs> and everyone, you know, people really recognizing and clapping and, you know, mentioning about a teacher. So just being put in the same panel, you know, that one I could not believe, you know, at first. And then I, I was wondering when the people really listen to me, what, what does it mean? I could not understand the whole thing. So I felt like it was um, really a high level kind of recognition. So this photo here reminds me of uh, my students who have achieved so much from uh, a very humble background in a uh, under-resourced uh, school. But they are able to, uh, they are able to achieve, they are able to achieve, they are able to achieve a lot, able to compete with the students from top schools, you know, those giant schools. Their students won um, a United Nations Sustainable Goal kind of award and uh, they were the best in their category of embedded systems. Yeah, something that I did not expect. Just the same thing I, I did not really uh, expect that I'll match to be the winner uh, in the Global Teacher Prize. So it was also another surprise to see the students also matching winners. Thank you and may God bless you.